Hey guys, RTT back here for the video, guys. Today we are overclocking the NVIDIA 3090 FE. Now, currently this FE is actually um it's actually loud. Usually this is quiet as can be. You can never hear this card. The reason why that now is loud because I have the fan speed up to 100 percent because we are overclocking. Now in the background we have a valley, a great benchmark tool to see, you know, hey. Is it going to crash or is it going to keep being able to go? So let's start off right away with doing something small like 15 to the core clock. And let's see if we can be, if we can still can, uh, remain stability in this application with that exact, you know, boost. And currently it looks like FPS is around 120, 130. Now these are all on ultra settings. So ultra obviously 1440p is what my monitor is set at. Ultra wide. So we're going to go ahead and just slowly increase this in increments and see when we get to a point where we're just honestly not stable anymore and we are experiencing crashing and looks like we're getting up to like 140, 150. Okay. Not bad at all. We're going to go ahead and increase that a little bit more and see if we get, if we're still sub, uh, stable, if we're not stable, I think these cards usually go up to around 90 before they kind of saw it like being unstable and instability. Uh, currently, we're rocking around almost 2,000 megahertz for our GPU speed. So that's actually not bad. Um, we might benchmark in a second and see how this actually does benchmarking. But let's go up to 75. And okay, we are currently at 160, complete 160 for FPS counter. So that's interesting. Okay. Um, we're going to put my memory clock at one, uh, 75 too. Let's see. Okay. Looking good right now. We're definitely looking good. We're at 2025 megahertz for our GPU. Um, and we're looking really decent. Like I'm not mad at 62 degrees Celsius is not bad for the temperatures. I think that's a pretty decent range. And again, guys, I don't want to really push it too, too much more. I don't want this to crash in all honesty because I think based on what I've read that this is the top like 75 to 90 is the top you can get to. So I think we're going to go ahead and just stick around this range and see. I think that should be probably the max we're going to be able to get in all honesty is 2025 megahertz. So let's benchmark this real fast. Let's see how this does in the benchmark. Before we benchmarked this way before like when it first came out and I hit 150 on my benchmark. Can we get more than 150 is a question. That is the question of today. If we overclock this like we have guys, as you guys can see, we did overclock this. Is this actually going to get over 150 is the question. I don't know. I do not know. Currently it looks like we're staying around 160 FPS. Now again, we are maxing out this GPU, which, um, you know, Thing is already a beast so even max this out even more is absolutely insane and i don't know what the top speed you can get this to but i think hitting it at the, what we're hitting at right now around 160 constant throughout this whole entire benchmark will me absolutely great now my monitor is only 160 hertz monitor so we're not going to really get above that in all honesty i did turn off my max frame uh, rates i do i did have it capped so I could have smoother gameplays, but I did go ahead and turn that off. So no longer is it capped. So the game you're watching right now, this FPS is not capped anymore. So I know the one is going up to 160. I'm not sure why, but it is not actually capped. So with that in mind, it, if it is cap, if it's being capped right now, that is just simply the application or simply the, I don't know why, but, um, it's not actually capped. It's not capped at the highest frame rate, but Guys, if you all enjoyed this video at any given time, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Tell me your thoughts and opinions of the 3090 FE. Are you excited about it? Are you going to pick it up yourself? Have you picked it up yourself? Have you overclocked it? Because this thing is absolutely gorgeous. And I, I can't wait to go into like different games like Fortnite, run 4K, and see overclocked. How does this beast actually run? Like, does it actually run that much more amazing overclocked? or not and i'm really excited about seeing that i definitely think it probably will with how insane benchmarks so far on this channel we've gotten with this 3090 it has been absolutely game breaking already and that was not overclocked at all and you guys saw overclocked we got up to 2025 megahertz 
which is not bad for overclocked uh gpu there comparing to the 2080 the 2080 ti the most i could overclock it to was probably around 1900 2000 maybe 2000 got lucky at 2000 mainly 1900 1800 i kind of rested around those ranges so again even faster than what we saw with that card with this card right now and currently we are staying at 160 pretty much this whole entire playthrough and again this is an ultra settings for this 3090 so this is absolutely maxed out 1440p i don't have a, a 4k monitor or else we would see a 4k i mean i do have a 4k monitor but currently we're not rocking 4k we're rocking 1440p we will actually probably go back and overclock this at 4k okay i do have a 4k monitor the only issue with my 4k monitor is that i don't actually have uh unlimited frame rates and i have 60 hertz on that monitor so it looks like okay so we got 145 fps it was actually less than what i got before when i had it when i had it um uh, not overclocked so we're gonna see something real fast guys okay open up mate uh, let's open up this again and we're gonna set this back to default settings so let's just set this back to default if you ever have an issue and you want to go back to default go ahead and click on that button right there it will go default now i'm going to go ahead and see what would we get what were we getting and this is an also as i said system so it's 1440p what were we getting before because i remember i got this to 150 one time and now we're doing a benchmark guys that's not overclocked and funny thing is, the one thing you can take away from this is you cannot hear the GPU now. You cannot hear this bad boy when he's not overclocked. When he's not 100% fans, no, you can barely hear this. And this is bench about to be benchmarking and really intensive. I mean, benchmarking is always intensive on the GPU because you're putting that to the 99% and no, you can barely hear the GPU right now. And it's kind of funny because I had a 2080 Ti, I had a 2080 Ti blower card and found edition. Both of them, you guys would be able to hear when I was benchmarking them. Which, don't get me wrong, I understand. They're, they're freaking putting a lot of strength on the GPU. This GPU, nothing. And it's twice, three times the size of the old GPU 2080 Ti. So, very crazy, very crazy indeed. Um... But interesting, very interesting. Now, I'm getting 175 FPS, not overclocked. I'm not sure why, actually. But we did boost this even higher. And as you guys saw, the normal base overclock, I'm not sure. Yeah, we're getting really good frames, not overclocked. I'm not sure why. It might just be this program. But this program is very inducive on the GPU, period. And what's us overclocking it? We're adding even more strength to the GPU. Uh, but because it looks like without being overclocked, that boy is getting really good frames. And we already saw we have what? 145 FPS, right? Not with overclocked. Um, 6,000. 67 score and minimum 46.9 fps maximum 162.3 that's what we had and i can't wait to actually really build this pc guys we're gonna be building a pretty much a juggernaut pc on on a video coming up soon make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are new and we're gonna be maxing it out i'm talking about we're gonna be building guys the best pc you can build I might be switching to AMD with the new AMD processors for this build. But guys, this is going to be an absolute tank. And you guys do not know, I do have a $4,000 build we just got of the NZXT. I went ahead and changed out the power supply on video. If you want to know how to change out power supply, go check out that video. But I also, of course, put my old 2080 Ti blower card in my old PC. I sold my 1080 Ti that was liquid cooled. Um, we sold that card. And yeah, so i'm interested i'm really interested to see how that benchmarks now I'll probably put my 3090 in that case with most likely either a 10 900k or an amd processor that's coming out in november i'm not sure which one i'm going to use yet but i'm going to get a whole new no motherboard 
we're gonna get a whole nother everything so that's gonna be interesting it's gonna be a fun video to make guys so stay tuned to the channel for that but let's see what the benchmark ends up being we hit 145 of fps before and that was overclocked how much are we gonna get 159 non overclocked that is actually very interesting um i'm not sure about that I'm not sure why we got more we got less frames overclocked than not overclocked i'm not sure guys that is actually something to take away and currently we have our gpu at 61 degrees celsius um yeah how many have a lot of thoughts and opinions guys but base speed is 1695 megahertz as you saw in this video, we got up to 20, uh, 2025, but the FPS level went down by using it as overclocked. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy this video. Make sure to like and subscribe button down below. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.